62 degrees on this beautiful Tuesday morning. We don't have to worry about any rain today. Well, there is that 20% chance, but I think we're A-OK. -okay. Time to wake up. Jason. Well, let's get it cranking on a Tuesday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM here in Limestone County. It's Rodeo Week, the 30th annual. The big dog himself may come rolling in just a moment. Sheriff Mike Blakely. I know the rodeo queens are going to come in here with their belt and everything else on. Tom, how are you? <laughs> I'm on. fine. I want to watch this yeah. belt thing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Me and her kind of got this thing going on, you know. <laughs> but hey, we were at the Limestone County uh, Sheriff's Rodeo, Grand Marshal Charlie Page, this past Saturday afternoon, around 2, between 2 and 3. Also, we got video we didn't get to last week across the street at the annual Bean Day celebration at First National Bank. Puts on all around the world. Frank's in here this morning on the phone, 2304988. Hey, what's happening, Frank? Nothing much. Just waiting on a big street dash tonight. It's tough being me, Frank. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. So you're going to the street dash now yeah, at 6. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I'm still awake, I might make it. You won't be awake. I don't know. <laughs> 6 o'clock rodeo this weekend. You can see it exclusively right here on ZTV 11 starting in a couple days. After as soon as Brad gets it all done, I'll do my part and we'll get going from there. A lot of stuff happening. I got loads of stuff to talk about. Plus, we got all politician in here this morning. Since I have political experience, you know, I haven't been in the political room for a week and a half as probate judge. I know Don't all listen about running for office. I may run as a ride in myself. We got that going on. The sheriff's supposed to be with us later on or somebody. He'll be on all the TV stations all week getting all the publicity he can get. But the weather, it looks like it's going to be A-OK -okay for the weekend, ain't it? It certainly does. Only a 20% chance of showers so far for Saturday or Friday and Saturday night. But let's talk about today first. Only that 20% chance of rain, but it's not going to happen until probably after 4 p.m. There's a little bit of fog out there. Be careful on your way into work. Seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. 80 degrees for your high today. Low temperatures of 56 and partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, your high of 81, low of 57. And let's look at the rest of the week. No rain to worry about for several days. Let's hope we make it through the rodeo. 2304988 does get Frank this morning. First and foremost, we have a new addition we'd like to talk about right now. Abby called me this morning at one minute after 3 a.m. <laughs> I was up. There's the newest member to the Cooper Clan. Aren't right newborns there. just pretty? What is it? Aren't newborns just so Madeline uh, Jane. Smith. What's his last name? Smith. <laughs> Smith. Smith from Russellville. Tom. Yes, that's from Russellville. Right. How much she weigh? She weighed six pounds, ten ounces. Six pounds, ten ounces. Abby don't weigh much more than that. I know. <laughs> Yeah. She's already got a big mouth. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. The first granddaughter brought into the bunch. And popular baby names this year are, Let's see. I know Jacob's been like number one for 11 or 12 years. Anybody in this room named Jacob? Nope. 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 We all missed out on the name. It's blooming this morning. This morning, let's see, girls, Sophia, Isabella, Emma, Olivia, Ava, Emily, Abigail, Madison, Mia, and Chloe. Well, how come everybody in your family's named Gloria? They're original, aren't they? Huh? Boys, boys Jacob, Mesa, Mason, William, Yeah, that's Jayden. the name I want to stick with. Yeah, I knew, knew that. <laughs> Noah, Michael, Ethan, Alexander, Aiden, and Daniel. Jamie's not one of the top names. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, and Tom? Jamie. Tom, <laughs> Frank, Corey, yeah, what, happened to, you know, what happened to normal names? <laughs> if I had to write those in. <laughs> I would have had to write those yeah. in, too. No one names their kid Gloria. That's such an old Well, they seem everybody in your family did. There's like ten of them. <laughs> There's four. Oh, by the way, we were in Florence yesterday. Me and the Swami got riding around. He was my <laughs> first time I've ever been able to ride and text, because mm -hmm. usually I'm driving. True. So I got my reading glasses. I'm going to anyway. We stopped. Y'all remember, don't show the photo yet, Brad. Let me set this up. Y'all remember growing up as a kid, Tom, you remember this. Frank, you might have been a little older for this. Benny Carl mm, had a television program mm -hmm. out of Birmingham. Birmingham and then up here. Here's the photo. Stopped in yesterday to visit with him. He's 86 years old. That's, mm. you know, that's me on the right. <laughs> uh, Benny Carl, that's two living legends right there. He's 86. I'm 46. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh>. Uh -huh. Again. <laughs> Wishing. Again. He hired Country Boy Eddie. Really? At Channel 13 to start with. See those photos behind him there? Barely. They don't have, he quit doing his last kid's show. He, Johnny Evans did a kid's show too. In 1976 on Channel 48. Well, he, they don't have any video of any of those programs. But those pictures back there. One's the Lone Ranger sitting on his set. Bob Keisham. Uh, Captain Kangaroo. Yeah. And then another one. Poncho. 
Poncho. We run that every Saturday yeah. morning at 5.30. <laughs> but I'm going over to do an extended interview with him. So I just want to say hello to his son, Benji, and Benny yesterday. We're coming back for an interview. That was uh, <laughs> growing up. Man, he was the man. Mm -hmm. he was, you remember watching him? I do. But uh, for 86 years old? He never did a show. Getting around pretty good. All right, let me tell you a couple of things coming up this weekend. 30th mm -hmm. Annual Limestone Sheriff's Rodeo. He all starts Preston's Western Wear. Uh, that was uh, last night. The street dance is tonight at 6. And all this is free. And then there's the sheriff coming in now. Uh, so that comes up tonight. We'll have video in just a moment of the uh, the world's greatest clown just arrived, too. Mike is here. No, Mike Wentworth and Sheriff Blakely, so Blakely being the... <laughs> but Sheriff, we'll talk about that in a minute. Hartzell's got a cotton-picking barbecue cook-off this weekend, Soul Stocks this weekend. Uh -huh. But the number one event, the 30th annual, is the rodeo. All right. Friday, special needs rodeo. Right. For, uh, that starts at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Open And we'll have video of all that. You'll see it exclusively right here on the uh, show coming up uh, next week. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Danny Johnson. Saw he was down shooting the sheriff's parade too I over the weekend. But out. you know they've got the Valley Star. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm reading Sonny Turner's article in there, and it says that Frank, you remember the day Athens shook? This was before yeah. Sheriff Blakely was sheriff. Wow. Said I was looking at some old photos the other day. This is coming from Sonny, the latest edition of Valley Star, and he says uh, they were talking about this old concrete water tower that needed to be torn down in the city of Athens. Said this the tower had a history that my Athens folks will never forget. Dynamite said it was a, huh? Dynamite Athens. Said it was an eyesore and unsafe. So I think Garth Lovern hires Dynamite Athens. Mike, you remember this? Yeah. Dynamite Athens <laughs> to bring it down with one big bang. It was in the early 70s. Actually, it's like mid 70s or later 70s. Been there since mm -hmm. 1910. So, okay. Sonny, you didn't know this about this story. But this is one of the few times ever in the history of the country rover I got the lead story. I came over and spent the day with Dynamite that day. How'd that go, Frank? Not too good. Showed him hooking this up, Tom. He gonna blow it up. He gonna blow it up. He was excited. Sure enough, he comes out there. We ready. He counts down. <laughs> windows shatter, uh, shatter all over Athens. It busts out windows everywhere. <laughs> and uh, the it tower it went to? about like this. You know, <laughs> to steal that. News. So I go back. They give me the lead story. Because it was news. Because it didn't work? That's right. Well, it didn't work. I had to come back and tear it down later. But anyway, I've got video of that and Garth and everybody down there like that. So, you know, there's a new thing that we'll get Sheriff's opinion on this too. I don't know if he knows about it or not. Tasty cakes mm -hmm. give pot like natural high. What? How's that going to go, Frank? Not too good. Herbal lace brownies on store shelves. They're okay and legal to buy, Sheriff. Any of these in Limestone County? No. Tell me where I can get some. No. Really? Did you arrest him? Yep. Says it may be <laughs> rich, chocolatey, and fudgy, but it was not like the desserts made in your grandma's kitchen. It's a, not <laughs> only does it satisfy not. sweet tooth, this cake could leave you pumped up with energy, groggy enough to snooze. Most herbal lace brownies, a legal alternative to the ones baked with hash or marijuana to produce, quote, a body high. Mm -hmm. It says now clowns across the country are using them. <laughs> clowns like. Half-baked buzz, cush cakes. They're, they're advertised for relaxation, Tom. Calmness, stress-relieving capabilities. Marketed as a dietary supplement, some of the brownies boast a list of ingredients similar to energy drinks. Yeah, right. Hmm. Sheriff just said so you'd get arrested for Well, that. it says they're legal. Well, not here. Not here. <laughs> It's not what, going what, for that. What's Gigi's got in them? Oh, I don't know. It's just sugar. All good stuff. <laughs> and if you if you eat a few of those, you could go down to 7-Eleven. Now mm -hmm. they've done sure, sure, yeah. Slurpee Light. The national infatuation with all things skinny has finally come to this. Slurpee Light, the brain freezing drink, best known for its weird colors, wild taste, and wacky names, now wants to be known as at least one redemption feature: fewer calories. We all want fewer calories. How about that? All right, let me do one last story here, and then we're going to talk about the rodeo here in a minute after I do a little bit of news. Who were the best five TV mothers, Frank, mm -hmm. in television history since Mother's Day was this past Saturday, that's Sunday? Will they say the Brady Bunch lady? No. Lawrence Anderson. Oh, see. All right, right. Oh, that'd be good, but she ain't on here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> since here, you know, five of the best from, no, from the 1950s version to what's going on now. Obviously, number one, June Cleaver. Oh, yeah. Leave it to Beaver. 57 to 63. Uh, said, yes, 
Judy wore pearls around the house and high heels. But her real trademark was her loving but no-nonsense approach to Wally and Beaver. We used to have that show here. <laughs> then it's got Claire Huxtable on the Cosby Show. Come on. They're going different generations. And then Roseanne Connor. Ooh, really? Roseanne Barr. Yeah, mom? that was her name, 88, 97. And then it's got the Gilmore Girls' mother. Come on. I don't know who that is. And then it's got Modern Family. Ain't that the gay guys with the kid and all that? Come on, these ain't the five changing. best TV moms ever made, ever on TV. It must be a misprint. Who took what about story? Harriet with Ozzy and Harriet? No. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Classics. I, they're not even on there. What like about Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies? <laughs> she wasn't, well, she was a grandmother, but she acted like Who else, Frank? Florence Henderson? Uh, I don't know what I can remember, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Frank. It's too far back for me. Anyway, that sucks. Uh, that ain't the <laughs> way. Uh, well, come on. Don't that nobody stinks. care about the modern Still family, sorry. about being one of the best TV moms. Are they talking about the man or the woman? <laughs> you know how things are now. Good question. <laughs> I don't know. No one from Dallas made it? Probably not. That's pitiful. Apparently not. What about Lassie's What's his name's mama? <laughs> you had way too much time on your hands to Wait watch a minute. TV. What was so her name? Much. June... Help me, Frank. I can't help you on that. <laughs> Frank's in a day. Timmy's mom on Lassie. I don't know. Okay. You're Boy, y'all a whole lot of help when it comes to <laughs> needing information here. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's kind of sucks. You're showing your age. Subject, yes. huh? You're showing your age. Was that the biggest parade ever Saturday? No. It looked it like, good they that's looked a like good the weather participated, too. Took y'all long enough to get there from down, you know. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. You we'll have a video of that coming up in just a moment. Eating. Hey, we'll do the news coming up next here. But again, mm -hmm. top stories today. We have a new granddaughter, our first granddaughter, born last night at midnight over in Florence. As far as we know, everything good to go there. She is mm -hmm. right there. Madeline Jane. Jane Smith. I guess that's the name. Yes. <laughs> Quit saying it. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. Let me tell you all this story real quick. <laughs> I'm walking out with the uh, uh, daddy of that baby. <laughs> We're walking out of the hospital. Jeremy. <laughs> We're walking out of the hospital. Jeremy. <laughs> It's well, this being ugly. older looking woman comes by I me. Mean, I don't even hardly see her. She says, hello, Mr. Cooper. It was my first wife. Being <laughs> yeah. a living legend and everything. I ain't got time to talk to every woman that comes by. It hits how, on how me. How does that go now? <laughs> well, exactly like that. Hey, it's speaking funny. of somebody hitting on somebody, you remember the other day, don't you know? Yeah, uh -huh. Gloria hadn't forgot that yet. Uh -huh. Can you take him with you when we'll you We'll talk leave? about that later, too, coming up on this morning. All right, we'll take a break on the Tuesday morning. This is Cooper Cody Live. Y'all, hang on. <laughs>